I'm a good person inside. It's just when I play pool sometimes, I'm a little bit different. Earl Strickland's reputation as a great of the game is a given. Yet controversy has plagued his career as much as the titles he's taken home. Volatile, abrasive, and at many times unstable, his health issues have resulted in incidents with players, fans, and officials alike. At times aggressive and at others completely detached, Strickland's Jekyll and Hyde character is as well known as his pool playing ability. He does have you know, health issues and, and he is bipolar. And everybody that's been around the game for any length of time knows what Earl Strickland is capable of. Capable of pieces of brilliance that other people don't even contemplate. But at the same time, you know, this Jekyll and Hyde character outside and onside the table um, with massive mood swings. One of the greatest players to ever wield a cue. He's an enigma, but he walks such a fine line. He's about to get in a fight with a guy in the audience. I'm a great player. I think I'm a remarkable person. Certainly I've had, you know, ups and downs where, and I've had situations where I may have uh, degraded this game, but only because you made me do it. Only because you pushed my buttons. Only because you didn't do the right thing. That's what made me degrade something here and there. There's a switch that, you know, he has to put on, you know, and, and has to turn it on. And that switch is, you know, a very volatile switch. It's his demeanor in between racks, uh, his, his relationship with the crowd, his relationship with his opponent uh, or the referee. It's just certain things can unhinge him. He's not understood well. I think Earl's definitely misunderstood. You should have to, you know, play like how he plays, with the fire, the passion. So if you don't show that and you don't do that, I think he gets upset like you're disrespecting the game. People don't understand really where he comes from. I think he's a genius, uh, an absolute genius on the pool table. Well, I'm borderline in genius. <laughs> and, uh, insanity, there's no doubt about it. <laughs> Geniuses are not normal people, you know. And if you take out all the bad things, you, you're not left with the genius because it's part of the mixture, the chemistry, that makes these type of players so unique. The antics didn't start until about the 90s with me. But that's when people started picking at me. You started picking at me, I started getting mad. Sometimes you have to think that the worst advice Earl ever got was just be yourself. He's the sort of player that when, when he's good, he's unbelievably good, as long as he can keep himself controlled. And uh, sometimes it's a fine line. You think this is some kind of game or something? It ain't no game. I'm dead serious. I'll shoot your liver out and hand it to you. He comes across a little misunderstood uh, because of his um, outburst. It's heating up again. Oh, you ought to be ashamed of yourself. The way he gets his point across is not always the best way. It's like he's in your face. The crowd's there, and he's an intimidating player, believe me, because uh, he's one of the few guys that can turn the atmosphere into one where there's a lot more pressure and and still perform at a high level. He shut them up too. Don't only pick on us. And I'm sick of listening to people tell me how I trashed and burned this sport with my antics. John McEnroe had the same antics. His game didn't dissolve, did it? You can almost physically see the change in his face, in his eyes. That blank stare, that blank glazed look staring into nothing. And, and you know, now the switch has been hit. I think he, he gets, you know, treated unfairly sometimes, but, uh, you know, sometimes he's his own worst enemy as well, so there's no off switch. We're in extreme sport. Let me tell you something. You know how hard it is to learn how to play pool? The only thing that I know that's harder than pool is dying. Nowhere has Strickland's unpredictability been seen greatest than at the Moscone Cup, the annual nine-ball shootout between Europe and America, a team event in an otherwise individual sport that has tested both the Pearl's resolve and his teammates' patience. A hostile environment where the best survive and the unstable become the undone. If you don't enjoy the Moscone Cup, you don't have a pulse. What a shot! How do you do that? Look at the celebration! Wow! The bicep of the American body. Just a massive upset!
First thing a guy said to me, I'll never forget it. I go to the table, I go to shoot my first shot, a guy yells out, We did away with you once and we'll do away with you again. <laughs> I wanted to kill that guy. I'm not sure how much of a team player he is. He's always been an individual winner. He's never been the type of player you could you could rely on to give 100% for the team. He, he gives 100% for the game and for Earl Strickland and the way he likes to play the game. It was the first time I'd ever played any kind of team event. I'd been totally an individual up until then. The fact that Earl Strickland was in the team gave it even more of an edge. In a way, he epitomised the enemy, even though the other players sort of went, no, he's not with us. A whole new concept, you know, of learning how to play pool with each other, you know, and root for each other. You don't do that in individual pool. You don't sit around and root for a guy. You want him to lose. His fiery attitude did, did go into the practice room, did go into the players room uh, a little more than I'd liked. We're on edge, we're kind of tensed up, and anything said, uh, anything done is magnified. I keep the fire under these guys. I don't ever let them take it easy for a New York minute. I'm on them like a cheap suit. Certainly you want to win, you don't want to lose to a continent or a country that doesn't really play pocket billiards. And uh, no, it was important to win. Oh, oh he just broke he his cue! He's he's just snapped his cue! He was never a popular choice amongst a lot of the other American pool players because of his you know, volatility around the table and off the table. But I, looking from a distance, w was quite amused by what he used to get up to. Obviously, it was hard when you played him because he was quite aggressive on the table. Strickland jumps out of his chair like a predator. He kept coming up with the right players that could handle the situation. That's the key to the Moscone Cup, you know? I was all business. And look at him! Look at the crowd! Look at Strickland! <laughs> Unbelievable! He was just getting himself in that state when he played, for whatever reason, and he couldn't help himself. I don't care if you're playing a guy that really doesn't know anything about the game or not. Make him break from the middle and he'll break his hand. Europeans are very stoic, emotionless. Earl has trouble dealing with that too, because he likes to see the game played with passion. If I was playing the way I did when I was 21, 22 years old, this tournament would end two days early. <laughs> because you don't know what he's going to do, it's a total risk. I mean, we've gone from one side where he'll get upset with some noise from the crowd and, and he wants to fight people. I mean, physically, fight, he'll be last them outside, you know, which is not good. At one stage in a match, it's the, it's the only time it's ever going to happen. Earl, by this time, was having a running argument with the crowd. Got his cue, turned it round and went to the crowd, come on then, do you want some? And he was ready to smash somebody with his cue. And I was looking, thinking, what's going on? I still think the fans are a little ruthless. I, I, you know, they're not quite as, they don't show quite as much etiquette as I would like. You're the idiots. Those are your people over there. If she's a fan, I'm the Pope. But, you know, you have to weigh that up against what he brings to the party as well. He's capable of winning matches in positions where other people aren't. He's capable of playing shots that other people don't see. So it's very much a balancing act. If you want an exciting environment, living on the edge, put him in. But stand back, light the blue touch paper and be prepared to leave the room. He wants to dominate, he wants to control. And when he doesn't have a situation that he can dominate, well, Mr. Hyde. And look at Strickland! Bitterness personified! And Strickland has just lit a fire under Team Europe that he didn't need to light. That means he's really fired up. That means he's really here to win. That's his way of expressing it. What really makes the Moscone Cup is the fact that the Americans have to play better because they're being tormented a little more. So you need guys that can handle those situations. When I get in the heat of battle, I'm allowed to come undone at any minute. I think the best partnership I had in the doubles was Rodney Morris. This is the team of the big hearts. Rodney Morris and Earl Strickland. I love playing with Earl because I know that the other guys on the other side of that table are scared. 
We were unbeatable, literally. I mean, we just, you know, our games were identical. We just, like, clicked. It was just quick, fast. Earl was like, man, I like playing with you. You don't sit around and look at the table. You just shoot. You're like me. He says, like, I'm playing with myself. They never lost there for years. And just to see that, of course, that was a no-brainer to put them as, as partners. Said, who we got? Okay, well, we know Rodney and Earl's going to play together because they don't get beat. Are you coming back tomorrow? You better. Can it get any better than this? We're great shot makers. If, if he leaves me tough, he says, oh, you're a great shot maker. Just make it. This is a dream come true, playing with Earl, you know, as a partner. I grew up watching him play, so, you know, to be in the same building with him is, you know, it's awesome. Because, you know, I was a young, you know, kid, and that's the reason, he's the reason why I wanted to play pool. I love him to death. How can you not? He's just a great talent. Earl Strickland's finest and most emotional Moscone moment was to come in 2005, when his peerless performance throughout the week was recognized with the MVP award. I've never, ever shed tears in my life. But that's the most important thing I ever got, that MVP. Thank you. Right. There's a lot of great moments for me, and there's a lot of bad ones. You know, I guess I should cherish the good ones and just forget about the bad.